Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Aditi here, your leadership and branding coach. So today we're going to talk about the number one thing that is responsible for your doubt. So this is a topic we've been talking about this week during the three week reboot. I'm covering how to get your brain into a place to help you actually move forward and set you up for your best year ever. Because I realized that your brain can either hinder you or help you move forward. And our brain is one of the most underutilized parts of us that can actually help us so much that we don't utilize at all. So I want to talk about what you can do to actually move through your doubt. All right. So if you want to join and get the worksheets that I'm doing with this, you can head over to aditicreative.com slash reboot. Okay. So you have it right there. So what is the number one thing responsible for your doubt? Now, I don't know about you, but for me, doubt really, really gets me crippled, like crippled to the point where I can't do anything. And it just keeps me in this frozen parallel space. And it really just blocks my creativity flow. It blocks my intuition. It blocks my problem solving muscles. It literally clouds my thinking, my judgment, and my natural instincts. It really kind of hinders me from moving forward. So you may relate to that too. Have you found a time where you were feeling really doubtful about something? It could be in any area of your life. And it maybe crippled you or maybe you had anxiety or maybe you just let your doubt win and you didn't know what to do with it. So, you know, you just let the doubt take over and make that decision for you. So what can we do about this doubt? How can we actually move through it? So the first thing I want you guys to do is you wanna identify like where is this doubt coming from? So the number one thing that's responsible for your doubt is what? Your brain. Doubt lives in your brain. It thrives in your brain. It grows in your brain. And often we're feeding our doubt more and more and more and it just keeps getting bigger. So what can you do? I have five steps to help you kind of move through that doubt, okay? So first we wanna meet the organ that carries your doubt, which is your brain. So today is all about meeting your brain. Have you ever thought about that? To meet your brain, right? It's such an interesting concept because I feel like we have this in us, but do we ever actually meet it? You know what I mean? So here's a five simple step process to help you shift your doubt and meet your brain, okay? So the first one is to become aware when the doubt comes up, okay? So like sometimes, you know, um, I'll be going out uh, by myself and sometimes I'll have doubt about that like oh are people gonna say something are people gonna be like oh who's that girl by herself you know and I'll just notice that the doubt has come so I just become aware it's like oh like why are you feeling weird about this you feeling weird about this and I'm like I think I'm feeling weird about this I feel the doubt coming up so I became aware of the doubt so then what you want to do number two is meet so you want to meet and welcome your doubt to come into your conscious awareness. Because typically our doubt is living in our subconscious, in the back of our brain, and it's kind of automatically running again and again and again. What we wanna do is actually bring that doubt to the front of your brain. Because when it's in the front of your brain is how you're gonna be actually able to work with it. Because when it's in your subconscious, you can't really uh, access it, it just kind of um, rules your decision making without you even being aware of it, right? So once you become aware of it, we're going to bring it to the front. Then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to greet. You're going to say hello to your doubt and get to know it a little better. And this is what where we're going to do something called a thought download. When you do a thought download, you're basically just doing a brain dump of everything that's coming up for you. So for example, uh, if I had my doubt about like going out by myself, then I would do a thought download about everything about that that's coming up for me. Oh, are people going to wonder why I'm by myself? Uh, people are going to think I don't have any friends. Are people going to be talking shit about me? Wait, but why do I care anyways? Why am I so bothered about this? And like, you just like kind of let everything come out, 
right? So you dump it out either on a computer or you can write it out, which is a really powerful process. Or if you're like in a social setting, what you can do is just grab your phone and like open up one of your notes and just like type. Like I've done that before when I had doubt come up in a social situation where that made me really uncomfortable. I was just like typing away, you know, what was coming up for me. And then you can like move through it with that move through it by starting with the thought download. Okay. And then step four is observe. So now that you have the thought download and the brain dump, you're going to become an observer of what's happening here. So you're going to take a step back and you're going to step into the observer mode. And you're going to actually separate your thoughts from yourself. Because what happens is we often tend to think that we are our thoughts, that we are our emotions. And that makes it more painful. Because when we think we are that doubt, we think we are whatever we're feeling, it, it can become debilitating. But if you can separate that and just realize, this is me and these are my thoughts. I'm just the observer of my thoughts. Just creating that separation is super powerful and it helps kind of lighten up the energy otherwise it just feels so heavy like I just feel lighter even just thinking about separating my doubt from myself and becoming that observer okay and then the fifth step is to choose so now you're going to make a conscious decision to choose something different because now you've become aware now you've done a thought download, you've separated yourself from your thoughts, and now you, can ha you have an opportunity to choose something different if you want. This is your opportunity to make that choice. So for me, you know, in that example, once I did the thought download, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. So all these people may say those things, and is that okay? I was like... Would you rather be at home and not have to worry about all this stuff? Or would you rather be out here living your life? And I was like, I'd rather be out here living my life. So I was like, okay, so I'm okay if people are talking shit about me or if people are saying stuff or making fun of me because I still would rather have this experience. So I'm going to choose to think. Instead, I'm so happy to be able to be out here and go out. I'm so happy I get to explore these different areas in Palm Springs, in Phoenix, in Dallas, wherever I'm going to be. I'm so excited I get to experience this. No matter what other stuff happens, I'm excited I get to do this. So when I was able to do that, I was able to move through my doubt, not be crippled by it, you know, and still be strong in my decision and what I wanted to do. Because there were a few times it, I really was just, I had so much doubt and anxiety and freak out and stress that I didn't even want to go do the thing. But I was like, do you really not want to do the thing just because you're worried about this stuff? And I was like, mm, I really want to do the thing. <laughs> so this is the kind of process that I did for myself to help me move through my doubt and to actually be able to do that thing that I wanted to do. Okay, so this process starts with meeting your brain. So that's what we're doing today. And what I have for you is a worksheet where we're going to uh, break down those steps. Okay, because otherwise what happens is your doubt is going to win and it's automatically going to take control. Now what this process does is it actually creates a disruption in that natural pattern that you have built up. Like there's many times I've let my anxiety and doubt win. Because I'm like, mm, I don't want to deal with all those feelings. I'm just going to stay home. <laughs> but this is your opportunity to create that new pattern. And this does take consistent practice. And the cool thing is you can use this process again and again and again every single time. Now, by the way, the coaches in my training school use a similar process to this to shift their own doubt. And they have lost collectively and there's like thousands of people, hundreds of pounds, and they've made millions of dollars. So this is not some fluffy process or some, you know, talking about your feelings. This process is no joke. This process brings real fucking results. Real money in your bank account and real pounds off your body 
real, 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 real results. Those are just two examples, but there's so many more depending on whatever it is that you want in your life. You know, making more money in your career, in your job, getting a new job, moving to a new city, meeting a partner, whatever it is. This process works for any and all of it. Okay, so I'm really, really excited to help you dive into this and to support you in the process. First of all, I'm going to say, again, if you want these worksheets that I'm going to share, I'm sharing with you guys, you want to head over to aditicreative.com slash reboot. Okay, and you will get the worksheets and these videos that I'm putting um, daily this week into it. And if you want deeper support and you want to do a 15 minute reboot call, I'm doing these right now. Okay, so aditicreative.com slash reboot call to sign up. So if you're watching this while I'm running this live, you have that opportunity to sign up and we can get on a call and coach through whatever kind of doubts or blocks that you're having in this current moment. All right. Now, if you're looking for deeper support, like six month coaching to really move through some massive things, send me a message because I do have two spots available right now for these next six months. All right. And then what you're going to also do is ask your questions inside the private group I have. So let me show you guys the worksheet that I have for you. OK, so all about meeting your brain. All right. So in this. I break down everything we just went over and all the five steps that I just went over are inside of here. OK, the aware, meet, greet, observe and choose. And then in the worksheet, I have a process for you broken down. So the activity is here, okay, to help you actually move through each of these steps one by one. So step one, step two, and I have a note under each one of them to help you through each one. Step three, and I have more details to help you with the thought download. Step four and step five, okay? So you're going to find everything inside of this worksheet and then also again if you wanted to book a 15 minute reboot call it's also inside the worksheet now once you join inside the private Facebook group you'll see um, this video as well as the worksheet in there so you'll have everything you need all right I'm super excited about this you guys I'm super passionate about this topic myself because I work through my self-doubt constantly every single freaking day and that is how I've been able to create the results in my life till now which is building um, a 100k business from scratch and releasing 59 pounds off my body and I've lived in three different cities and so many more things but it was because that I've been able to work through my self-doubt day in after day out that I've actually been able to create these results. And now I want to show you how to work through your self-doubt too. So I hope you will join me. This again, aditicreative.com slash reboot. All right. And I'll see you guys inside. Bye.